asking about the new Brisk spark plugs. What is the uh, the rec recommended interval for service? That's always a tough one with this yeah. because it's. I mean, these are in such high output applications. Your your service and overall intervals are going to be very use dependent. It's very very use dependent. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And if you if you drive the car a lot or you don't, you know, if if they get carboned up from a lot of short drives, yeah, that's gonna. Or if you if you just for a few moments have a really rich fuel mixture, you can you can you know soot up your your spark plugs really bad. So, um, I would say generally. Um, these should have a similar life to OEM. However, again, even OEM plugs don't last 100,000 miles when you double the output. Yep. So um, I, I would say either replace them at an interval that makes you feel comfortable based on your experience, um, or certainly the, the, the moment that you um, sense that you have any misfire issues. Yeah. And, and these, generally, the, these are, um, I don't know even what application we're asking about. These are, these are yeah. kind of across the board for, for, motors and outputs so um yeah i mean i would say it's probably gonna be a little better than a normal copper plug um, definitely and in between like an iridium plug yeah the iridiums are are you know generally a little longer life but at a compromise of yeah. um of spark energy for for the, the mixtures so we, we talk about spark plugs on here regularly and, and our our kind of take on spark plugs has always been run oem unless we say differently yep um, like for example, some of the turbo kits we offer, we do include different plugs with that kit and then we do sell those plugs on our site. Yeah. Um, but, um, recently we started talking about these brisk spark plugs here. Um, it's a spark plugs. It's not, there's not much to look at. Fancy. Um, but we're, we're carrying the brisk racing plugs and the brisk silver plugs. Um, these, these are long life, high performance spark plugs. But we're not here to say that they're going to give you a lot more powerful spark. Uh, the nice thing is they offer a lot of options for heat ranges. Yes, that is kind of the biggest reason is, is there, there's a lot of flexibility yeah. for given sizes and uh, and heat ranges, which actually leads into another question is to come up. Uh, what does it mean to go hotter or colder on plugs? Yeah. So, um, you know, we, we can talk about spark plugs for a few seconds. Some diagrams would help. But yeah. basically, there's a few things about a spark plug that make it hotter or colder. Um, a, a big thing is uh, you can see there in the middle of the spark plug, there's the electrode, which is which is what the grounding strap ionizes with when you get the spark. And so that, that electrode is mounted on a ceramic post, and that post travels down into the spark plug some distance. Now, uh, the, the ceramic post allows heat to conduct into the body of the spark plug and eventually out of the spark plug into the cylinder head. Um, th the size and length of that post is mostly what determines the heat range of that plug. Yeah, and then th there's also an amount that that post is shrouded by the, the, the metal body of the plug itself. Sure, so, right. Yeah. But what happens is uh, a really hot plug will have relatively low conduction of heat out of the electrode. And so what happens is that electrode starts glowing red hot. And that plug with the glowing red hot electrode will begin propagating combustion sooner than a cooler electrode. Uh, now that, that can be good in, in uh, yep. cases where you need to start the spark sooner, you need more hotter spark energy or more aggressive sparking. A little bit of assist for that spark. Yeah. But if you're already right at the edge of detonation or essentially dieseling of the air fuel mixture, then you want full control over when that combustion starts. And that's when you want to move to a cooler plug that uh, doesn't start combustion until the coil starts releasing energy. Um, and so what we're recommending is that with generally speaking, uh, we're not saying you have to, or it's, it's 100%, uh, you know, make or break, but we're recommending these brisk spark plugs for stage two or higher applications. And, and we're offering, uh, plug options that are one to two heat ranges cooler than the, the factory plug. Um, again, these are more stressed applications, higher combustion pressure, closer to the detonation limit. And, and so, so we're bringing the heat of the plug back a little bit to give the ECU and ignition coil more control over when combustion starts. Um, again, we're not, we're not here to say that's going to be a hotter spark or you're going to get a bigger explosion. Yep. Um, the sparks, the spark plug's job is to start combustion but the bulk of combustion and how it propagates through the combustion chamber 
is uh, controlled by the air fuel mixture um, yeah, and, and the, the characteristics of the motor, the chamber design, the yeah, how they design, how air is flowing in and out of the combustion chamber, if there's any swirl, how well the air and fuel are mixing. Yeah. Uh, again, the air fuel ratio is, is really key to that. Um, and then the timing is critical. So uh, when you start the spark is more important than how big the spark is. Uh, and the reason I make this point is the spark plug isn't determining the size or power of the combustion. Again, that's all those other things, yeah. mostly related to the air fuel mixture. Um, but the key to a good spark plug isn't how much spark, but when and how. And so that's what these these plugs give you. Yep. As yeah. long as you're lighting it off and, and you're getting a you know, proper combustion event. At the right, it has to start at it's, the right yeah, time. Yeah, the, the, right the right time. That's that's not up to the plug. I mean, imagine, imagine um, you know, uh, a, a big domino, you know, the dominoes, you see those on. The spark plug is the thing that knocks the first domino down. The rest of it's, it's, it's a, it's a, combustion propagation process yep. um the spark plugs not like releasing all this heat and energy into the combustion chamber to make the combustion bigger yep. uh, if if you can't start the combustion that's your real issue and that's where a good spark plug with the right heat range the right kind of tuning is is by far 99 percent of what makes a spark plug. yeah and following that up there the this person was asking if it would benefit their stock and or tuned setup stock motor you're basically never going to need or notice we don't recommend it i mean you can do it it's no it's not going to see any benefit or gain yeah. other than and then uh yeah yeah as as Joe mentioned for the tune motors that's yeah. you start pushing the limits of what you can light off with stock plugs is when uh you want to start looking yeah. at the big performance stuff check them out on our website there's more details um i think you'll find that we've probably posted more information about these plugs than anyone else that sells them um, we've listed them in a, at a competitive price. You can buy these lots of places, but um, we like to bring products like this to customers when we feel like it could be beneficial. Yep. And to not, you know, blow a bunch of smoke about what things that they don't actually do.